So you want to be a wizard, do you? Or a witch? Well, you can't be. You can't be right when the game starts, at least. Anybody who's ever played any fantasy RPG knows that you need mana in order to cast spells. And Outward is no different. The game starts you off with no mana bar, however. But there's a simple solution to that, and I'm going to show you in this video. All you have to do is head to the big-ass mountain in the center of the map and uh, talk to a big crystal. Not really talk to, but go up to a crystal, and that's how you get your mana, and you can start going into wizardry stuff. Now I'm going to head there right now, but I'm going to cut the video, and I will show you guys on the map when I get there where you need to go. Okay, so now we've traveled from the town up here, which is Sierzo, and I'm going to drag my little cursor on the path that we took. We kept right on the main path and followed it down and down and down and down until a T in the road, and we kept going straight, and now we are right here, and I'll mark it with red in the video. And you're going to basically go left at the fork in the road right here. We're at the base of the mountain. And there's three entrances into this mountain. And the entrance we're going to take right now, in my opinion, is the easiest way to get to the center crystal that will give you the mana. Okay, so we're going left at the fork in the road. And then you're going to have another little mini fork right here, but we're going to stick right and start going up the mountain itself. <coughs> All right, when you get to this little point right here where you can go right and up or down and left, you're not going to go under the arch, you're going to go down and left. Okay, we are arriving at the entrance into Mount Conflux that we want to take right here. Okay, so I'm going to bring up my map before we go in and pinpoint it. Let's see where we are. Okay, so we started at Sierzo. Followed the main road this way, this way, this way, past the T, took a right at the fork in the road, went up this little side path right here. And right here at this little V, we took the lower path around this way. And this is the entrance that we want to take. And this one is called the Blue Chambers Conflux Path. Okay, we're inside the first chamber and we are going to go straight. And you're going to drop down right here. Okay, we've dropped down, and as you can see, you can't turn around because there's a rock wall, so now we got a bit of a maze right here, and if you guys just follow the steps that I take, you can run past all the enemies and get right to the center of the mountain. So here we go. You're going to take your first right, dodge around this guy, take another right. You're going to go straight through this intersection, and then bear left. Then you're going to take an immediate right in this intersection, stick left right here. Go around all these dudes. Oh, shit. Okay, stay close to the fence right here. Get that chest if you want. Grab it quick. Come all the way around, and we have gotten to the complex chambers. Okay, we are in the complex chambers, but we got to just go across a little bridge to take a left. Then go right. Go across this bridge right here. Don't fall off. Actually, I don't think you can fall off. Might as well loot that guy's body. And then go straight. Right to the bright lights. And now we are in the central chamber. And there's going to be a bunch of these guys around called Watchers. And you can talk to them all because they all give you kind of tips on magic. But if you're just ready to get your uh, mana pool, you just come on over here. And go right up here. And you basically walk up to that crystal right there. And then it asks you how much mana you want. So every point of mana that you get gives you 20 mana. But it also sacrifices 5 health and 5 stamina. Now, at this point in the game, most people do not have a lot of spells to do. So you don't want to sacrifice too much unless you already have all your spells, which is highly unlikely. So I would sacrifice like 1 or 2 points into mana so it doesn't mess up your health too much. And then as the game goes on and you get more spells, you can come back here and get more, more points into mana. So we're going to interact here. I already have a couple points in, but this is how you do it right here. So as you see, plus 1. Minus is my health from 115 to 110. So after you get your first couple points of mana, then you're going to talk to this guy, and you're going to get your first spell, which is going to be a spark spell. And when you talk to him, he's going to give you a choice of two other spells. One is going to be a fire sigil, and one is going to be called reveal souls. So if you want to be more fire spec and use fire skills, then go with the fire sigil. And if you want to do kind of more necromancy type stuff, go with the reveal souls. The fire sigil is going to allow you to cast your spark into an actual fireball. You will need a firestone for that, but you can get an alchemy recipe to create firestones. 
Now, Reveal Soul is a skill that you cast near dead bodies to gain mana. Or later in the game, if you get something called Conjure, you can summon spirits from people's dead bodies. So I went ahead and got Reveal Souls. So whatever you choose, if you choose Fire Sigil or Reveal Souls, it's not the end of the world if you want the other spell. Later in the game, you can go to a trainer and actually learn that other spell as well. So this guy will also offer you a chance to buy another spell, which is called Flamethrower for 50 silver. But you need the Fire Sigil to do that, so if you didn't buy it, then don't buy Flamethrower yet. And after you got your mana, you're going to want to talk to the other Watchers. This guy will sell you stuff, and he also offers a boat to leave the mountain. But there's one more Watcher, I believe he's the second Watcher, who offers a another spell. And he is down here. If you come down here and go talk to this guy he offers something called I've winner. already bought it he offers something called the boon of cold which increases frost damage and resistance and also increases protection against hot weather so I bought that one it's going to be useful for the environment and I plan on doing more ice specific attacks so I bought that skill and that's going to be it now we've got our first pool of mana and we can start learning spells from trainers and buying spells and start using them and become the wizard or witch that you want to be.